Okay guys I welcome you all to Engineers Academy do subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems from Hibler Dynamics the problem says that 30 kg slider block is moving to the left with a speed of 5 meter per second so this slider block is moving to the left with a velocity of 5 meter per second when it is acted upon by force F1 and F2 if these loadings vary in the manner shown on the graph, determine the speed of the block when t is equal to 6 seconds. Neglect friction of the mass and the mass of the pulleys and cord. So we are given the uh, force F1 and F2 versus T graph. Right? This is the variation of the force with respect to time. They are represented as a graph. So to find the velocity of this block, we have to apply the principle of linear momentum which says that the initial momentum plus the impulse due to the external forces that will be equal to the final momentum so the initial velocity is let's say v and it is said that the initial velocity is 5 meter per second and the mass is 30 so I will write 30 into 5 and then we will have two kind of uh, impulses since we have two external forces right so we have f1 external forces and if we uh, draw the free body diagram so we will have we will have four f1 forces we will have this f1 this f2 this is again f1 and this f1 so this is four f1 forces are acting towards the right and here we will have F2 force towards the left we will have only F2 force this rope is continuous this rope is continuous so we will have that same F2 force which is acting towards the towards the left so this is F2 so now we will have the impulse due to 4 F1 and due to F2 so we can write this equation is we can write that uh, this will be the impulse due to 4 F1 this is v1 right so this is 4 f1 dt and and if we are we are applying this momentum equation in the horizontal direction so in the horizontal direction this is our positive direction so the the initial velocity is in the is towards the left it is said that it is towards the left so so if if this is my positive direction if this motion is my positive direction so the velocity is acting in this direction which is considered to be negative so we have to write minus sign here so this is minus uh, 5 meter per second and this is plus 4 f1 dt and f2 is acting this f2 is acting towards the left which should be considered the impulse of this f2 should be considered as negative so we will write that minus f2 dt and this is equal to the mass is again 30 and we have to find that v2 so now we are given the force f1 and f2 distribution in the shape of this graph and area under under the curves uh, will always give us the impulse right so we can we can write uh, in this term we can write 4 outside of the integration so let me write that that 4 f1 dt so this is so so this is the uh, this is the area under the curve of f1 and this is the area under the curve of f2 so we first of all i will find the area under the curve of a curve of f1 that will give us the impulse due to f1 so f1 dt is equal to area under f1 graph so we have to sum up the area uh, areas under the f1 graph so now the area under the f1 graph is this area let's say this is this is area one uh, sorry this whole area let's say this whole area this is this is area one and then we will have uh, this area this triangular area let's say this is area two and then we have this area this area is let's say area three so now we can write that area 1 is area 1 plus area 2 plus area 3. So we can find that area 1 which is that area 1 is this uh, 
this 6 6 multiply by 10 this height is 10 right so 6 multiply by 10 is 60 so this is 60 plus area 2 is triangle this area 2 is triangle which is 1 divided by 2 and the base is the 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 base is 4 minus 2 this is base is 4 minus 2 so this is 2 so base is 2 into the height so this is the height of this area 2 this is the height which is 30 minus 10 so which is 20 so the height is 20 so we will multiply this with so we will multiply this with 20 and similarly area 3 so for area 3 this is this is 6 minus 4 which is 2 and this is this height is 30 minus 10 so 30 minus 10 is 20 so this is 2 into 20 so this is plus 2 into 20 so this gives us this 2 will cancel out this is 60 this is 60 plus uh, 20 plus 40 so this is 120 so the impulse due to f1 is the impulse due to f1 for 6 second is 120 newton second now similarly area under the f2 we have to find the area under the f2 graph which will give us the impulse due to f2 so let me write that the impulse the impulse due to f2 d this is f2 dt is the impulse so the area under f2 graph so we need to add up this area first of all we have to add up this area this is let's say area 1 and then we will have this triangular area this is area 2 and then this small area this is area 3 this is under the f2 graph so this is the first area 1 is the first area 1 is this this is 4 the this this distance is 4 4 and this is 40 this is 40 minus 0 so this is 2 into 40 uh, this is this is this is 4 into 40 so i will write 4 into 40 and then area 2 is the area of a triangle which is 1 divided by 2 and the base of the triangle this is the base of the triangle which is 6 minus 4 is 2 so that is 2 multiply by the height this is the height which is which is 40 40 minus 10 so 40 minus 10 is 30 so we will multiply this with 30 and similarly area 3 so for area 3 this base is 6 minus 4 which is 2 2 and 2 into 10 the height is 10 this height is 10 so so that is 2 into 10 is 20 so plus 20 so 4 into 40 is 160 this will cancel out this is 30 plus 20 so this gives us 210 newton second so we have determined the impulse due to f1 which is 120 newton second and the impulse due to f2 now we can use those values in this equation so when i use those values in this equation so our equation will be so this is 30 minus 5 is 150 so let me write that this is minus 150 let's say this is our equation a so i i we, we are going to put the values in that equation a so this is minus 150 plus 4 into the f1 dt this is f1 dt so f1 dt is 120 newton second so I'll multiply this with 120 and then minus the impulse of F2. So minus the impulse of F2 is 210 and this will be equal to 30 into V2 which is V2 is the velocity after 6 seconds since this, this is the impulse for uh, time 0 to 6 seconds. So this will give us the V2 the velocity after 6 seconds. So this is minus 150 plus this is 480 minus 210 this is equal to 30 v2 so this gives us uh, 120 this gives us this is 480 so this is 120 equals to 30 v2 and from this we can write that v2 is 120 divided by 30 from which we get plus 4 meter per second so now this means that the, the velocity value is meter, 4 meter per second and the plus sign means that 
the block is moving towards the right since our assumed positive direction was in was towards the right so if the if the velocity value is plus 4 meter per second so after t equals to 6 second the this block is this block is moving towards the right with 4 meter per second since our uh, positive direction was towards the right so initially the block was moving towards the left with the velocity of 5 meter per second and after t equals to 6 second the block is moving towards the right with a velocity of 4 meter per second so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems from Hitler Dynamics.